I uh, I messaged uh, Viola Davis Whoa. on Facebook, but I didn't know if it was her or anything because yeah. it wasn't like verified. The picture was like, you know, what and I heard this? from a friend. This is like 2013 or okay. something like that, 14. Yeah. Was, like when I first got out here, uh, a friend of mine was just like, hey, did you go out for this uh, part? And I was just like, no. And then he was like, yeah, man, have your uh, agent or manager send you out. And I was like, well, do you know, I don't have any representation. Yeah, no one took dude. me. So, okay. So I was like, man, now I know what's happening, but like, what is it? He like sent me the sides. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and then uh, I just messaged her and she was like, yeah, I'll send your stuff over. Like, cool, 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 da da And it was like Vicky Thomas. And I used to watch like old, like uh, Devil in a Blue Dress with yeah. uh, Denzel and oh, yeah. Don Cheeto, you oh, know? Yeah. You can see their uh, audition tapes. So I'm watching Don Cheeto's audition tapes with Vicky Thomas. I'm like, oh man, okay, yeah, cool. I'm like, oh, this is Vicky Thomas. But half of me is like, this could, easily be a scam yeah like half of me is like i could go to this location and this is the last day of me of you know what i mean <sighs> thinking i'm gonna act way, so i'm like preparing but i'm movie. also like preparing for like you know to put it down wow. you know to, for real for my life yeah for real yeah yeah because i didn't know you know and you know how casting offices are like they're like come on man buildings you're just like i mean there's nothing that says like also, yeah dude this is it you know and then you have to have that delusion to even think that like i bet that was viola davis that re reached back but it maybe wasn't it until i already got in the room and i see vicky thomas and she's like ready i was like yeah oh oh i was talking to viola davis you're Vicky Thomas. Oh shit! This is my time. Oh, you know what I mean? And I yeah. just come off of like doing like Shakespeare in the Park in yeah. St. Louis, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. like ready. So I'm in that room, acting like I'm performing for like five thousand people. So it's like loud. It's projecting. I'm going at it. Oh, dude. She's like, everything just talk film to me. does not need. I wasn't thinking about film at all. I was yeah. thinking about all the monologues and yeah. things I've done. You know, which is all stage. you know. So why would you do anything different? Exactly. Yeah. And then she's like. Let's take it again. Let's talk to me. And I was like, all right. You're cool. saying give more. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, wait. Oh, God. Digging in, you know? And then she's like, all right, I think we got it. And I was like, ooh, that doesn't feel oh, like I yeah. got it. Like, I've, yeah. I've seen we enough. We got it. We I, got what you brought, yeah, which we don't need. Yeah. I remember that kid booked different, you know, when he did a, a, a ET, you know, you, who yeah. was just like, all right, kid, you got the job. Yeah, I That didn't feel like that. <laughs> that energy was. Because I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not it. Oh. And, um, and I mean, of course I didn't get it, but it was one of the best failure moments out here because it immediately took away that chip on my shoulder. It yeah. immediately made me be like, oh, I have kinks in my armor that I don't even, that I'm not even aware of. Mm. And so then I started taking, you know, classes just for multicam, single cam. I realized I do better in classes that, uh, 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 they film you, you know, and I can see myself. Watch the game tape. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of theater is basically like, hey, man, I don't see that thought dropping in. And you're yeah. like, okay. Like, I, I, I believe I'm thinking the thoughts, yeah. you know. But seeing yourself, you're able to be like, I see that moment. And I remember how I felt doing that part, yes. you know, where it's just like I was disconnected and I was yes. forcing something or, or, oh, that doesn't feel like it's just natural and normal. Like, I should relax. Or, mm -hmm. oh, the closer to me I am, the better it looks because it's real. Like, right get to the point where things become, so yeah, all, wow. all in all, that was a great failure moment. I mean, I've never really talked about that moment. But, great, dude, I love it. But yeah, man. But um, those are so, and for people watching, man, which are uh, a lot of young comics and actors, like those things are uh, so imperative to have and go through. Oh yeah. It's just like yeah. in comedy, man, they say like, you're not getting, if you're crushing every time on stage, you're not getting better. Yeah. You wanna be consistent. Yeah. You wanna get to a point to where you're just delivering and like you're going into rooms. Yes. It's a thing of like, and I've heard, you know, and I want to know what sort of advice you've gotten and what you've now given being on a, a, a stage where you have like a platform and more exposure to mm -hmm. where people do want to like know what, like we're just talking about right now, like what have you done and not done that you think got mm -hmm. you to here? But mm -hmm. there's uh, there's so much to be said about, um, you know, picking and choosing too the things that people want to tell you because it's all based on their journey, right? Mm -hmm. And I try to even do that and, and make sure that I'm really differentiating like this is at least what happened for me and so right. when i'm telling you it's not what you should do but like you know you get advice from some people you know that might work for you maybe you can take a piece of that uh but the idea that i you know one um uh rep at one point say like you know because i was frustrated with just getting a lot of opportunities and not not uh, closing it yeah not closing the deal yeah. and you're like at what point are you like and then i've heard some people be like well what is it what are you not doing and I'm like, man, well, there's always something more. So I, yeah. I subscribe to that there's always more you can be doing with everything. Right. Because I feel like 
and this is again just going back to me personally because I feel like you know for a good chunk of time I was trying to do so much that I definitely probably was spreading myself thin and not mm. getting the most out of a few areas because I was trying to do so many mm. but um but that idea of like building fans and even if you're going in and you don't get a job that you really want controlling what you can control and crushing it so that they want to keep you on that short list and bring you back and even if that thing is a month later or a year later but you're still staying in their world and yeah and getting opportunities to come in again and crush and be consistent and um and be memorable and just be on those lists to keep getting opportunities and to stay in the game right right right, right. and um and then hopefully one of those, you know, uh, well, pans out. Because they'll see you coming in those rooms too and yeah. like working every day, yeah. you know? Every, everyone sees people working and doesn't acknowledge it at the same time, you know? Where it's like, I've got casting director friends where I'm like, man, you're working on like seven shows. Like that must be exhausting. Yeah. Like looking at all these different auditions all day along with sending the emails out to tell them to, you Ooh. know, have that self tape the same day, you yeah. know what I mean? Or, or early in the morning, yeah. you know? Um, but. I, it's it's so important to keep going, you know. I think that, I mean, you just build those relationships, and then they they also know your strong points as well, like what you do do greatly and you don't do so much, you right. know. And then they kind of help guide you. They'll give you more notes because they kind of know you. They know you can take the note, you yeah. know. So it's it's weird that it's like you do have to have a lot of failures just to get to a point where you're like, okay, cool, like. No, me as an individual, yeah. like when I do this, that's what makes me special. Like everyone has their own special juice, yeah. you know? <laughs> I'm still laughing at how fun that was. Uh, hey guys, Adam Ray here for the About Last Night podcast. Hope you enjoyed that little ALN highlight, that little freebie tidbit. If you want to see more highlights, clips, animations, and episodes, click right there. huh? Click right there and get all the free ALN goodies your heart can muster. And of course, subscribe to the show by clicking the ALN logo right there. Huh? Do that. It's easy. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>